Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a deadly duo in love that loves reacting to some Dead by Daylight. I feel like I need to have like little guns or something for that deadly duo, like, like you know, Mr. and Mrs. Smith style. And I, I definitely don't. So. Sure! <laughs> that works. Um, so it's been a while since we got to some Dead by Daylight. Uh, we're getting back at it with the Spotlight trailers. We've done all the killer trailers. We did all the uh, Mori's. So we actually missed out on some Pinhead trailers when we did our All Killer trailers because he came out shortly after that. And so today we're gonna get make sure that it's part of our Triple Trailer Tuesday, people! We react to three trailers from the same franchise. Uh, technically this is four because two Pinhead trailers are combined into one, but they're like super short, so whatever. Uh, and then the other one is uh, Freddy Krueger um, and Leatherface. So Ooh. those are the those are the trailers we're gonna react to. I hope you're ready for it. I don't know. Some killers act from a desire to exert their will over others. Some to satisfy carnal urges or even to quiet the voices in their heads. Leatherface does as he's told. His family loves him and that is all that matters. Outsiders are a threat and threats need to be dealt with. He is now in a place that is familiar but hard to understand, but he instinctively knows what he has to do. Outsiders will come, and he will use his skills to overcome them. There will be screaming, but he will make the world quiet again, until the only sound remaining is the blessed howl of the song. Oh. Leatherface's power is called Bubba's Chainsaw, an incredibly powerful and heavy chainsaw which sank its teeth into countless victims, a suiting birthday gift to the cannibal. Leatherface comes with three perks, the first one is knockout. The trauma caused by your brutal attacks makes crying for help painfully difficult. Dying survivors' auras are not revealed to other survivors when they are standing outside of a certain range. The second perk is called barbecue and chili. <laughs> a deep bond with the entity unlocks potential in one's aura reading ability. After hooking a survivor, all other survivors' auras are revealed to you for a few seconds, as long as they're far away from the hook. It grants 100% bonus blood points on any scoring event while a survivor is on the hook. The third perk is called Franklin's Demise. Your vicious attacks make the survivors drop their items on impact. The lost item is damaged in the fall, losing a percentage of its base amount of charges. Leatherface kills because he's scared. He's scared that his family will be displeased with him. Scared that their shared desire to eat human flesh will be discovered. Oh my god. Leatherface is available now. Actually didn't know that much about Leatherface, so... No, did I. That was kind of interesting to, to watch. Some nightmares will prove difficult to wake up from. They will consume you and actually hurt you. Not mental scars, but rather deep physical scars created by <laughs> sharp claws attached to a worn glove. This is the world of Freddy Krueger. Even while he lived, Freddy Krueger was a creature of nightmare for those who truly knew him. Hiding behind a mask of warmth and friendliness, Freddy's actual temperament was known only to his victims. Mm. Rather than succumb to his debt, Kruger was offered by demons the chance to continue his killing spree after death. He became a dream demon, an entity that could enter his victims' dreams and kill them in that world, which would cause their debt in the real world. But now he's in a better place, a place where the line between dreams and reality is even thinner and where his power is truly appreciated. Freddy's power is called Dream Demon. Freddy is invisible to non-sleepers, although he can be heard by paying close attention to the lullaby. When close enough to a normal survivor, Freddy can activate his power to tag him with sleepiness. Once a survivor is tagged oh. with sleepiness, oh, the killer suffers from a minor speed penalty and the survivor is gradually gonna fall asleep. During that time, 
the survivor's aura is no longer shown to Freddy. This is his chance of hiding or trying to wake up. After a short delay, the survivor falls asleep. He is now in the dream world. He can now see the killer and be hurt by him. Hmm. The first perk is cool. called Fire Up. The increased pressure of losing your prey fills you with anger and gives you unsuspected motivation. Each time the survivors complete repairs on a generator, Fire Up grows in power and grants speed bonuses to pick up, drop, pallet breaks, generator breaks, and volts. The second perk is called Remember Me. You become obsessed with one survivor. Each time you hit your obsession, you increase the opening time of the exit gates by 5 seconds, up to a maximum. The obsession is not affected by Remember Me. The last perk is called Blood Warden. Once per match, when at least one exit gate is opened, hooking a survivor summons the entity to block the exits for all survivors for a moment. While Blood Warden is active, auras of survivors located within the exit areas are revealed to you. So cool with the hand. Yeah. Quentin Smith is one of the rare people who survived an encounter with Freddy Krueger. Hmm. He's young, he's resourceful, and he will not give up. Quentin Smith comes with three perks. His first perk is called Wake Up. Once all generators are powered, exit gates are revealed to you. While opening the exit gates, reveal your aura to other survivors within a certain range. While Wake Up is active, you open the exit gates faster. The second perk is called Pharmacy. You have a knack for finding medicine. Searches to chests are faster and the noises they cause along with their hearing distances are reduced. Pharmacy guarantees an emergency medkit on your first completed chest search. The last perk is called Vigil. You watch over your friends even in dire situations. You and your allies within an 8 meter range recover from status effects faster. Even when alive, Freddy Krueger was a creature of nightmares for those that truly knew him. Mm. Hiding behind a mask of warmth and friendliness, Freddy's actual temperament was known only to his victims. When those victims were finally heard, it was already too late. Dead by Daylight, A Nightmare on Elm Street, is available now. He is truly terrifying. That was just so short, but man. But effective. Yeah. So yeah, no, those were the so those were the spotlight trailers. It was cool. Like I mean, we got to see a little bit more of the gameplay and kind of like uh, yeah. how that operates in these spotlight trailers. So I kind of like that. Pinheads were was a little bit different. I mean, this was so this was all pulled from Dead by Daylight's spotlight uh, trailers playlist. But his spotlight trailers didn't really explain like his power so much. I wonder if that, mm. those are gonna come later. But his were like the most terrifying. His two trailers. 
I think I found Leatherface the most disturbing. Really? Maybe it's maybe it's because Hellraiser feels more removed, more supernatural, more more out there, and I don't have I don't know enough about him to pull from. But like Leatherface is genuinely that is something that that can be real, that can mm -hmm. happen. Like you can have a a family of cannibals. You can have terrible parents who rear their child to be a serial killer. I'm mean, like, you, like this is stuff that can exist in our world. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen too many pinheads walking around, so I, I think maybe that's just why for me, the getting more of the story and the history of Leatherface and how he came to being and like what he does, just was, it was more disturbing and chilling to me. So our dog has joined us for this last little bit of reacting to these killer trailers. <laughs> Because she just fell off the couch in the middle of her in her sleep. She's also actually our. Uh, she's she's a big horror fan. Um, she is. She loves Alien. Yeah. If if you saw our uh, Silent Hill PT demo playthrough um, reaction, she was uh, on the couch and she was like, she's interested in it, and yeah. she like she likes horror films. Um, she wasn't as interested in it because people didn't die, so she kind of lost interest yeah. a little bit. Like you know, she cheers for the demons and the bad guys and the monsters. Yeah, Aliens is her favorite movie. But yeah, let us know who your favorite uh, killers are from this these trailers that we watched: uh, Pinhead, Leatherface, or Freddy. And yeah, just let us know uh, more you know spotlight trailers to react to. We got a whole playlist from from Dead by Daylight, but let let us know what your favorite spotlight is, and uh, well you know we're gonna react to some more. And just keep in mind that our reaction. For this Triple Trailer Tuesday, to the spotlight trailers for Freddy, Leatherface, and Pinhead. Are definitely not definitive.